We know about you from Ivo Lukacevic's blog. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we know that uh, you had the same car, Volvo, as uh, Ivo. Do you, do you have it still? Uh, I still have I have another Volvo now. Yeah, but yeah, when we got acquainted, we had the same black Volvo XC70s. <laughs> <laughs> so this Could you please ask describe uh, your company in short way of, of the history of the company? Okay, Yandex is the synonym of search for Russia, just like maybe Cessna is here. Uh, we have our own search technology. Uh, we started as a technology com company. We started um, almost 20 years ago when we started indexing patent information in Russia before the internet appeared. Uh, we went online in 1997 with our, our own website, yandex.ru, yet another index. And by uh, 2001, we have, we've become the largest uh, search and portal in Russia, and now we provide all kinds of informational services to Russian users. And we dominate the search market with almost 60% market share. And why do you use your own search engine and uh, not some other because when we started <laughs> developing it, there was no other search engines. We just developed it for scr uh, from scratch uh, a long time ago. And because uh, our search engine quality is better than any of our competitors. And that's because Russia has uh, a long history of uh, uh, a very good mathematical school uh, where we all originated. And all these technologies, all these algorithms, all these mathematics, uh, we, all, uh, we all we know all about it, and we develop uh, technology which is comparable. And uh, are you uh, upgrading this engine as time goes? Yes, I. So Yandex as a company exists since March 2000, almost for two, 10 years already, and I'm the CEO, and one of the co-founders since 2000. And so. Uh, what's the main reason, uh, do you think, that uh, people in Russia use more Yandex for search than Google? Because uh, we search better, because we provide more information, more informational services. We provide, uh, we are much more localized by providing local services, like from any type of local information to services like even traffic jams on, on the maps, which nobody does. Uh, and how is it with Russian internet users and English? Uh, uh, 90% of uh, all the search requests relate to the local information, to Russian, Russian speaking content, Russian language content. Uh, but we also index the World Wide Web. Uh, we, we started with indexing just Russian related materials, but now we extend it to providing more information worldwide, search information for Russian speaking users. But we still target on Russian speaking audience, but we provide information from all over the world. Okay, and is there in Russia a strong a community of uh, geeks uh, around the, some uh, web related media or some technology? Of course, uh, the conference like this, we, we usually, uh, we have the, the Russian Internet Forum collects more than 3,000 people usually. <laughs> so yes, our geek community is very large and uh, distributed, yeah. And how is it with hiring geeks for internet project? Uh, for example, uh, here it's still the problem because uh, we have not uh, so many people. Yeah, it's this is the key pro problem for any internet company and for technology company, especially in particular. Uh, people who uh, program everything uh, actually you you depend completely on on, on people. Uh, first, when we started, we were a pretty small company and we were hiring our friends and friends of our friends. And then, of course, we had to do something more than that. Uh, and what we've done was we actually tried to recreate the Russian school of data analysis. Now we have the fu uh, a full-scale training. It's magister, two-year courses for a hundred of uh, students who graduate uh, knowing uh, all the methods of uh, 
computer linguistics, uh, classif classification, machine learning, uh, cluster uh, calculation, all, all, all this stuff. So we train them. Uh, in your company? Uh, we, we do it in collaboration with the top universities, of course. Great. And what about the uh, environment for investors and uh, web startups in Russia? Do you know how it's going? Uh, the environment? Uh, yeah, uh, for investors and uh, startups, the atmosphere and uh, the atmosphere is just like anywhere else. Uh, the main problem is that there is much more money available than uh, the minds, the, the brains uh, on the street. So, uh, if you you have have a viable idea, it's very easy to find the money for it. You just even angel investors are in Russia. Yes, there is, there is a lot of private investors, there is a lot of institutional investors. Yandex, uh, uh, more than 55% of our sh shareholder structure belongs, uh, belongs to institutional investors. So you don't have a majority of the Yandex now? Uh, no, we have a much more complicated uh, 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 structure in, in uh, controlling the company, so that founding shareholders uh, retain more control. But yes, the majority of the company belongs to different institutions now. And do you think it's a problem for you? No, it's uh, no, it's not a problem. It's uh, it's an opportunity. Uh, We, we have better liquidity because of that. Yeah, we have transactions from time to time. So our, our uh, employees who have stock options, they benefit from those trans transactions. Okay. And w uh, what about the planet uh, IPO? Uh, we, we plan, <laughs> of course, it's, it's uh, hard to tell now the, this uh, environment, but yeah, we planned when, when uh, the IPO a year ago. Uh, now we consider it as one of the possible options, but uh, no immediate plans. Because of financial crisis? Because of financial crisis, because of the, the whole environment change has changed. That we, we don't need IPO eagerly. We, we're a profitable business and we have, we have enough money. Uh, we, we were discussing IPO options only to provide more liquidity to our shareholders. So now it's been postponed, but it still is one of the options. Okay. Super, great. Thank you.